hello friends in this video i am going to show how uh, future value annuity factor or, or fvaf can be calculated with simple non scientific calculator friends uh, future value annuity factor uh, fvaf is also alternatively alternatively known as compound value annuity factor or future value interest factor for annuity the short form being FVIFA. So friends, all these, they mean one and the same thing. Uh, please keep open the first page of uh, the printed notes, the series in printed notes, the complex calculations with simple calculator, a separate series of uh, printed notes has been provided to you in the beginning itself. So look into page number one, second topic. This is the second topic and friends i will show the relevant portion on the screen also so friends let's start with an example uh, suppose we want to calculate uh, fvaf 12 percent for five years so uh, what does this mathematically mean uh, friends uh, this is basically the concept of a future value of an annuity a concept of time value of money so a specific video on this topic we have already published on youtube in our time value of money series which is for CE inter and CA final students so if you need you definitely look into uh, that video for concept uh, clarity now friends mathematically what does it mean so friends it means that uh, if you invest if you invest one rupee uh, at the end of every year for five years here at the time horizon is five years so then uh, this factor shows that how much amount you will uh, receive at the end of the fifth year if the rate of interest or rate of return is 12 percent so friends uh, the first one rupee we will invest uh, at the end of the first year we are remember we are investing at the year ends so the first one rupee which we will invest at the end of uh, the first year it will remain invested for four years so what will be the future value of that one rupee it will be 1.12 raised to 4 very simple then the second one rupee you will invest uh, at the end of the uh, second year so it will remain invested for three years because the total time horizon is five years the future value will be 1.12 raised to 3 and then friends the third one rupee uh, at the end of the third year it will remain invested for two years so 1.12 raised to 2 future value and this is the fourth one rupee it will remain invested for only one year so future value will be 1.12 in a fifth one rupee you will invest it at the end of the fifth year itself so uh, its future value will be one rupee itself so one rupee so the friends the sum total of all this is the future value annuity factor of uh, for 12 percent five years so friends somehow we have to calculate these figures with the help of a simple calculator so we will use the gross total key gt key uh, you uh, take out the simple calculator and open it uh, you have to do the calculation with uh, uh, myself uh, friends i have shown the keys which you have to press here in the boxes so it is easy for easy for you to understand first you enter the base here see 1.12 is the base 1.12 so friends uh, let's start you enter 1.12 then friends you know uh, that as you press the multiplication key and then as you keep on pressing is equal to key the power keeps on increasing from second power onwards so the first is equal to key means second power so you get here 1.12 raised to 2 then 1.12 raised to 3 then 1.12 raised to 4 and then if you press the gt key then friends you will get the total of uh, this three factors and here this is these are the keys that you will press then friends you can easily understand that uh, 2.12 will be left out so then what we will do uh, we will use a trick we will separately add 2.12 separately add so here it is separately added 2.12 and then you press the final is equal to key so you will get the value so this trick friends we are going to use so let's start so i have already entered 1.12 now i will press the multiplication key uh, okay then i will keep on pressing is equal to key for three times you know uh, always remember friends the year if the time horizon is five years then here it will be one less so it will be four years and here uh, the first is equal to key means second power so is equal to key is to be pressed one more less time so here if it is five then you have to press the is equal to key for three times so here you know first time I get 1.2544. It is actually 1.12 raised to 2. 
then 1.4049 it is 1.12 raised to 3 then one more is equal to key then 1.5735 it is 1.12 raised to 4 now i will stop and i will press the gt key friends so i get 4.2328 4 4.2328 so it is actually the sum total of 4.2328 okay now friends i have to add 2.12 so plus key 2.12 this and is equal to key so i get 6.3528 and it is the answer so the, what is the answer friends 6.3528 so it means that if you keep on investing one rupee at the end of every year for five years, you will get at the end of the fifth year 6.3528. You invested five uh, rupees. So minus five, 1.3528 will be interest. This is the meaning and calculation of future value annuity factor. So friends, you can try with another example, say 1.8 raised to, uh, suppose you want uh, FEF 18% six years. So then it will be, uh, you know that here it is 6. So uh, the maximum power will be 1.18 raised to 5 and you will press is equal to key for 4, four times. So you will get uh, second power to fifth. And th then you will get, the, you uh, just practice for yourself. So friends, uh, thank you very much. If you have liked this video, uh, do press the uh, like button and also share the video and subscribe over channels, YouTube channels, friends. Thank you very much from me and Aditya, sir.